Welcome, Robert Day. In this video, uh, I want to talk about uh, this news, the so-called the alleged forced work in the prison. So uh, this is where the news is from. So this little girl, when she tried to write on a Christmas card, he found she found that the there already this card has already been written by somebody. Um, we are foreign pri prisoners in Shanghai Qingpu Prison, China. It said in English, written in all captain, capital level letters. Forced to work against our will, please help us and notify human rights organization. It instructs the person who found the message to contact uh, Mr. Peter Humphrey, a former British journalist who was also working at a corporate, as a corporate fraud investigator in China when she, he was detained in the Shanghai prison for two, uh, 23 months. The box holiday cards had been purchased by at the British grocery giant Tesco, which donates money for, from sales of the cards to the charities. Now, so after this happened, uh, people would definitely think that yes, there are some forced labor in the so-called prison, uh, um, but the Chinese government, the foreign ministry, they have already denied that this is that this is a fake fake news. This is all made up. Uh, not only this. They interviewed. First, they interviewed this. Uh, this is the 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 boss of the Christmas card factory. He said that we never worked with prisons, or we never hired or require prisoners do the work. He said that we never had a business relationship with the prison. He said that from printing to packing, packing, packaging, all of this are done within the factory. And then shipped overseas. Oh, by the way, I had to add that you know this is a Christmas season, but in China there are some we don't feel Christmas. And I, 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 this year I never, I probably have only seen one Christmas tree. There has been some order from the government that uh, Christmas shall not be celebrated. We, the government doesn't encourage people to celebrate Christmas. Um, the government, they, they don't do this. The government officials, they are not required to celebrate. Um, before, like maybe like two, three years and even longer, the Christmas is really failed. You know, all the the malls, they will have uh, big sales by now. But w w the Chinese, we don't have a problem selling Christmas pro products overseas. So we don't celebrate your holiday, the Western holiday, Christmas Day. But we want to make money of it. it just, I just feel like I, I should put it out there. So he said that I'm very angry about the the, the uh, rumor, the disparity, the uh, slander. So 
By the way, he he was being interviewed by C CGTV. CGTV is China Global Television Network. It's also um, CCTV is for Chinese for China domestically. CGTN maybe is for like foreign audience or for the website. 中间还有了抽查，抽查是没有时间，没有没有时间段的，他随时随地来检查，而包括电脑都可以打开，非常透明的，对客户是非常负责任的，没有半点遮遮掩掩这个事情。Not only they interviewed the uh, the uh, general manager of the factory, they also interviewed the the prison warden. Now he said uh, several things, mm, which to me is not that convincing. He said, "Then number one, um, he said, yes, there are some labor, there are some work inside the prison. Number one, the, they are doing this willingly, out of their own、uh, willingness. They do it voluntarily. But、uh, how, how do we know that prisoners in prison?" They do this stuff willingly. So number two, he said that in the prison, if he wants to work, he has to apply. If he wants to、uh, work, we will give him work. Number three,、uh, we will give the worker or the prisoner a reasonable. Compensation for their work, but he didn't say,、um, like the、uh, rate, like for a day, what is the wage, for an hour, what is the the rate, like the hourly rate. Definitely, it's way it's below the、uh, minimum wage. He doesn't say it. He said that he also said that、uh, yes, the prisoners who work can get、um, compensation for their work. If there's no fine on them,、uh, this money could、uh, could be reserved and、uh, withdrawn when they are out of prison. And also, the money could be used for them to buy some toiletries,、uh, daily use products, and used for to、uh, call their families. Now, also, I want you, I want to show the comments. You know, foreigners. I don't know if you believe this or not, but Chinese, we Chinese, many of them, we don't believe. <laughs> you just look at the comments. Here he said that 其他的说的都挺好，资源的就不要说了 So he is saying pretty good in other aspects, but please don't say that they do it voluntarily. They do it voluntarily. Here it also has that、uh, another word of going to prison is called uh, uh, re-education from work from labor. 
in in the Chinese we have a, a phrase called "lao dong gai zhao." It means that re-educate yourself, rebrand yourself, or re rehabilitate yourself through labor. So by doing some work, you become a better man. Now the, this one said that it's not the news that the prison do work in prison. Don't play dumb or play. Don't act that that you don't know. Yes, everybody knows. Everybody in China probably knows that in prison you have to do some kind of work. But the def, but the key point is that. Is it is it are they doing it willingly or are they forced to work? And also, how can you? What kind of work can be called forced, and what kind of work can be called not forced or done willingly? I think maybe like we can sugarcoat it by. Saying that there is a difference between China and the rest of the the, the Western world, uh, for for in, for example, uh, the foreigners in their foreign country they pre they probably work um, eight hours a day, five days a week, but in China, many of the workers they work we work nine hours, ten hours, eleven hours a day. Seven days a week, six days a week is common, and you do have a lot of people. They work seven days a week. They pretty much only rest two days in a month. Now, if you read, if you can read Chinese, sometimes you can read.、Uh, you can see like they are they are hiring. For example, the restaurants, they are hiring, and on the hiring requirements. They will see that you can get two days off in a month, and they clearly state that you can get two days off in a month, and this is considered like a privilege. This is considered like a human thing to do it because some restaurants they only have one day off in a month. Some Even don't rest. And in many, like、uh, a lot of DD workers, a lot of Uber workers here, a lot of、uh, like delivery guys, we、uh, work like ten、uh, hours, eleven hours a day. If you work eight hours, you probably will be called lazy. Ten hours is normal. Eleven hours. Twelve hours you work diligently. That is what I mean. Like, how do you define forced work? Probably in the prison, these foreigners they think like working twelve hours, thirty hours if it's inhuman. But the Chinese prisoners they are used to it, right? And also, how what is the、uh, what is the Compensation. What is the wage? It doesn't say it. Now this one said it is. Is it made up? Sometimes Chinese we call prisoners the prisoner of 劳改犯就 it means that re-education prisoners. How do you let people believe what you say? Yes, it is true,、um, and I have.、Uh, this is the Wikipedia of re-education through labor. In Chinese, we call it、uh, 劳动教养 Now, this this arrangement or this mechanism has already been、um, removed, has already been discarded before.、Um, Like in two thousand thirteen, the system was、uh, so it is active from this to this. 
The system was used to detain prisoners, persons who were accused of minor crimes such as petty theft, prostitution, and trafficking illegal drugs, as well as political dissidents, petitioners, and following gun followers. So before 2013, um, some crimes they don't they don't go through the judicial system. The police they will have the authority to keep you in the prison for for, for like two years, three years. And this is for like petty crimes, like theft, prostitution, uh, trafficking, and also political dissidents. Like if you say something bad about the government on social media, you will be arrested and threw in prison without. The without the trial. Now this is before two thousand thirteen. Now、uh, you have to go through the judicial system. Sentences and re-education through labor. You see how the、uh, this is the.、Uh, I think this system is from like a Soviet new union, right? The North Korea is still doing this. China. Um, this this system has been、uh, abandoned, but there are some cases that、uh, the police can put you into the、uh, prison without the trial. For example, if you are、uh, violate, if you、uh, forged a car plate, if you drive without the license, the police. They have the authority to detain you, ten days, fifteen days without the trial. Without the trial, I know in U.S. you have to go through the judicial、uh, the court, but in China, this case you don't have to.、Uh, if you drink,、uh, if you are drunk and drive, if you are really really drunk, they will. You will have to go through the、uh, court, the judicial system. It、probably will sentence you several months. And this reminds me of the. The so-called re-education facilities or re-education centers in Xinjiang, but I don't think that、uh, they are like the prisoners, like the Western media has been saying. But、uh, I also don't think that many of them are in that、uh, re-education re center willingly. It's just the you know the character the 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 wording are so similar. They call it reactive education centers. Here is a reeducation through labor.、Uh, in that reeducation centers、uh, in Xinjiang, I don't think they are forced to work.、Uh, they are here. They are they are probably to learn a skill. Here, like this system, you have to, you know, in the prison, you have to. To to work, and I heard that you know the reason why they choose these prisoner to work is because they are cheap. You pay them below the minimum wage. That is why you know some factories they can't compete with the with prisons. And I, I know like in the movie.、Uh, Shawshank the Jew, they have was seen that、uh, the prisoners they they work as a construction workers, and the, the they are paid very little, so nobody else can compete with them. Same is happening in China too. The Shawshankers' redemption.
Yeah, there's a scene in this movie. Here, in his response, I think he's admitting this prison warden is admitting, yes, there are work inside the prison, but they do it willingly. But how can you decide that? How can you determine that he's doing it willingly? He's inside the prison. He doesn't pretty much doesn't have a lot of uh, um, power to say no. That's number one. Number two, like you, the the definition of forced is different. Probably in that foreigners' eyes, this is inhuman. This torture, this is cruelty. Like, but in China, in Chinese eyes, you can't ha ha how to do it. You know. So right here, we have uh, this innocent six-year-old child. And over here, we have uh, government news media declining so-called forced labor. So which one sh do I believe? I'm pretty much more inclined to, this, to believe this little girl. And... And this is not new. This is not nothing new. Like not only in the prison, in outside people work very hard. Recently, there has been a lot of, quite a lot of dice. If you, DD drivers, which is Uber drivers, they work eleven, twelve hours. Some died inside of the car, or some just died when he was sleep, asleep. He never wakes up. Not a daily driver, there's also a, a delivery guy dies May twenty So here there's the news that this dude he works over thirteen hours a day and he suddenly died inside his car. He's a DD driver. DD is the Uber in China. Oh, on average, he works about 14 hours. I'm I'm very pissed about his, by the behavior of his families. You know that he works this hard. How can you allow your family member to work this amount of hours every day? And he is, how, much, how old he is? He's 50, more than 50. He's just... Sit on the seat, uh, laying back, backward. This car doesn't move for a while. Somebody go check out, check him, what's going on. He find that, that he's not responding. They called the... Ambulance, he's already died. No, 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 not this. So he's, he died when he was doing the work. So the passenger, he told the passenger he doesn't feel well. He, he parked, the, pulled over the car. Uh, and uh, just... Uh, Like s s slept, slept. So he called the police, and uh, the uh, police came. The ambulance came. He he died. He's fifty-seven. He, uh, fifty-seven. He works fourteen hours a day, and his family knows this. No, I'm more pissed about his family member.
he'd been doing it for about five, six months, half a year. Now this is this news. Earlier I also had saw another news. This also happened in Nanjing. <laughs> This dude, he's a delivery guy. He works pretty much very hard too. He's 48. You know. You know, right now the, the China economy, economy is not doing well. Everybody is under pressure. You see this title, this one, is, this title says that uh, Six, a uh, forty-eight-year-old delivery guy died in his rented house apartment. He works more than twelve hours a day, and he only have four hundred yuan saved. He only have a saving in his saving account. He only have four hundred yuan. Now, by Western. In Western standard, this is like like forced labor, right? Twelve, thirteen hours. Now this is they, they are supposed to be free man, and they do this amount of our time or work. Now you can imagine what would happen in the prison, right? <laughs> in Chinese prison. You know, in the West, you you have a word, you have a phrase called the "working poor." Here we have working dead. You have a word called uh, called working burnout. Now we're talking about the working death. It's not about you know uh, your 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 well being. It's about your life. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I have to say in this video. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you like the video. I'm out.